Can vaping water harm your lungs? Hello everyone. Today we're diving into an interesting topic, vaping water. You might think that water, being essential for life, couldn't possibly pose a risk, right? However, when it comes to inhaling it in the form of vapor, things can become a bit more complicated. Let's unravel the mystery and find out if vaping water can actually harm your lungs. What is vaping? Before we delve into the heart of the matter, it's important to understand what vaping is. Vaping involves using a device called an e-cigarette, or vape pen, that heats a liquid and turns it into an aerosol, tiny particles suspended in air, which the user then inhales. The liquid used usually contains substances like nicotine, flavorings, and other chemicals. However, in this case, we're specifically talking about replacing this usual liquid with water. Can you vape water? The simple answer is, yes, you technically can vape water. Most vaping devices heat the liquid to turn it into vapor, and water can be vaporized. However, the real question is, should you vape water? That's what we're going to discuss next. Is vaping water safe for your lungs? Vaping water might seem like a harmless practice, especially when compared to vaping nicotine or other substances. After all, our bodies are made up of about 60% water, right? Unfortunately, this is not the case. Vaping water can potentially harm your lungs in a few ways. Firstly, unlike typical e-liquids that are designed to be heated and vaporized, water has a different boiling point and can lead to inefficient vaporization. This could potentially damage your vape device. Secondly, and more importantly for our discussion, is that our lungs are not designed to deal with water vapor in high quantities. When you vape water, you could be exposing your lungs to higher amounts of water vapor than they are equipped to handle. This can lead to a condition known as lipoid pneumonia, a form of pneumonia caused by the presence of lipids, fatty substances, in the lungs. While the chance of developing this condition from vaping water alone may be relatively low, it is still a risk. Furthermore, the presence of excessive water in the lungs could potentially lead to other respiratory complications. What's the conclusion? Ultimately, while vaping water might sound like a safe alternative to vaping other substances, it's not recommended due to potential risks to lung health and the integrity of your vaping device. It's always essential to remember that if you must vape, only use approved and tested e-liquids, as these are designed to be vaporized safely. We hope that this exploration of the potential risks of vaping water has been enlightening. Remember, your lungs are designed for air, not water vapor, and mistreating them can lead to health problems down the line. Stay safe, stay informed, and make wise decisions about your health. Thanks for tuning in, and see you in our next deep dive.